Hi guys, this is Honor's first smartphone in Europe since its separation from Huawei, but it feels oddly familiar. That's because the Honor 50 is an almost identical twin of the recently reviewed Huawei Nova 9 but with two key differences. The main camera is upgraded to 108 megapixels, and it comes with Google's mobile services. And since those two were the main complaints in the Nova 9 review, we can definitely see the potential in the Honor 50. The rather proficient hardware of the Honor 50, such as the 6.57 inch 10 bit old, the 108 megapixels main camera, the speedy 66 watts charging and the lightweight design, make us think this would be an easy recommendation. We would refrain from giving our verdict before going through the usual tests and seeing what the competition has to offer. The handset comes in a standard retail package carrying the appropriate 66W wall charger and a USB-C to USB-A cable for charging and data transfer. Honor threw in a transparent silicone case as well as wired earphones with USB-C since the handset doesn't have a 3.5mm audio jack. The Honor 50 looks and feels identical to the Huawei Nova 9. It has the same curves, back design and a circular camera module that stands out. This also means that the same materials have been used to build the device, glass back and front, plastic frame. We have the midnight black version of the phone. It's definitely clean and inconspicuous, but there are other aspects of the color version than just color itself. Unlike the frosted glass versions of the Nova 9 and the Honor 50, the midnight black variant has a glossy and more slippery back. The camera bump is protruding quite a bit, and the main 108 megapixels camera is accented with a ring around it, whereas the other three sensors are housed within a secondary ring with no accents. The side frame is made of glossy plastic, and smudges are pretty easy to spot. Luckily, the sides are super thin, and there's not a lot of room for fingerprints, and the top and bottom parts are flat with a frosted finish, so no finger grease there either. The power button and the volume rocker are placed on the right and might come off as a bit high for some users. The power button is rather easy to reach, but the volume rocker requires some stretch. The bottom end houses the USB-C connector, the speaker grill and the SIM card tray. The latter can hold only two SIM cards, and there's no room for my crossed. Even with the slippery surface that's prone to smudges, we like the Honor 50s as we like the Nova 9 single coat S. Sure, Corning's Gorilla Glass isn't involved in the build, but at 175 grams, 7.8 mm thickness and 6.57 inch display, the Honor 50 is easily one of the most manageable phones in this category. It's just easy on the hand. One would assume that the Honor 50's display is identical to the Huawei Nova 9 single coat S, but there seems to be a bit of deviation in max brightness as well as color calibration. But first, let's get the specs out of the way. The Honor 50 is built around a 6.57 inch, 1080 by 2340 pixels old display that can go up to 120 Hz refresh rate and has a touch sampling rate of 300 Hz for more responsive operations during gameplay. Support for more than 1 billion colors is also on the feature list. We've checked and HDR10 or HDR10 Plus content support is seemingly available but Netflix refused to play HDR10 movies. However, the YouTube app did play HDR compliant content. Although Honor's current state of Magic UI 4.2 looks and feels like Huawei ZMUI 12 we've tested on the Nova 9, it's actually far from it. The same aesthetics, icons, themes, always on display presets, etc. might be enough to fool you, but the visual similarities are the only common ground. Sadly, the Magic UI 4.2 skips pretty much all of the major EMUI features. At least we can confirm for sure that the Honor 50 runs on Android 11. The Snapdragon 778G used inside the Honor 50 is based on the TSMC's 6 nanometer and 6 manufacturing process and employs an octa-core CPU and an Adreno 642L GPU for graphically intensive tasks. We also ran CPU-bound stress tests to see how the phone handles high loads over time. The app showed two significant drops in performance, down to 74% of the CPU's maximum performance, to be exact, but it then ramped up again. This might not be ideal if you are planning to run the phone for longer as this would inevitably lead to an unstable frame rate. The biggest difference, hardware-wise, between the Honor 50 and the Nova 9 is the camera setup or, to be exact, the main camera. The Honor 50 replaces the Nova 9 single quote S50 megapixels unit with a 108 megapixels one. Unfortunately, we couldn't make the phone spill the beans about the manufacturer, but we can confirm it's a nano bear outputting 12 megapixels stills. The ultra wide is the same as on the Nova 9 and plenty of other mid-rangers minus 8 megapixels providing 120 degree field of view. There are two more cameras minus 2 megapixels for macro shots and 2 megapixels depth sensor used for portraits. Inside the punch hole, Honor put 32 megapixels. Even though the Honor 50 and the Huawei Nova 9 share the same hardware, the results from our battery tests are largely different. It seems that the underlying software is the culprit. 
A 4,300 mAh battery supplies the Honor 50 and the Nova 9, but the former scored 4 hours higher, as per our overall rating. No surprises here as we've seen the Nova 9 perform the same in our charging test. The supplied 66 watts charger pushes 61% juice from flat in 30 minutes and reaches 100% in 54 minutes. The Honor 50 impresses with an excellent 120Hz display, which turned out to be brighter than the Nova 9 single quote S, offers dependable battery life, shoots some good stills and videos, charges fast, and it's one of the lightest handsets in its category. It even fixes some of the flaws the Nova 9 couldn't, it supports Google Mobile services and offers 5G connectivity, it's essentially an improved version of the Nova 9. Sadly, this isn't enough to make it to our recommendation list. The Honor 50 isn't exceptionally good in either field, making room for its competitors to shine. There are considerably more powerful alternatives with better camera capabilities for less money. And the Honor 50 misses some common features such as stereo speakers and ingress protection too. With all being said, we are forced to end this review with a similar to the Nova 9 single quote S recommendation. Other phones deserve your hard-earned money. The Honor 50 might be a lucrative choice in the future if the price drops considerably. But for now, it's almost impossible to compete in its price category. Thank you for watching, see you soon.